Welcome back everybody to the continuation of our let's play of Space Exploration and Crash Storia 2. You might notice that something has happened over here. I have added a second cargo rocket silo to the mix because we are going to start to prepare to go to another planet. Now, um, one thing that we do absolutely, absolutely, absolutely want as soon as possible is the ability to build uh, requester chests and requester warehouses in general, or requesting stuff in general. Uh, we only had one requesting warehouse over here, and we've hooked it up to the cargo rocket silo over here that is taking care of the space platform. This thing over here has been working like a charm. Um, there is one small bug I think still left, and that is um, a thing that happens during launch. I think during launch, this thing over here somehow still orders up everything that is over there, and it doesn't really seem to be working as expected, even though we have gated uh, the requesting signal over here behind uh, the rocket ready signal. It still seems that it does happen every now and then. Oh, please. Oh, sorry, I also just had lunch. <laughs> it was a lovely pizza. <coughs> there we go. Okay, now, now it's down. Now it's definitely down. Good. Uh, nevertheless, we are going to focus on, for one, preparing to go to another planet. And we have already chosen that planet. We are going to go over to Byra over there. Uh, because we're going to start off with cryonite processing. And cryonite processing is very important because cryonite processing is what we need to get to utility science over there. We need cryonite rods. Uh, and everything else we already have in space. So let's prepare everything for the cryonite rods. Um, and of course, we have to solve this little riddle over here because, well, we don't have a warehouse. What we do have is a strong box. So, yeah, let's just say it's winter. <laughs> but we should be able to hook things up. Um, we should be able to hook up this to that. There we go, uh, and then... Oh, I see what's missing. Somehow this connection misses. There we go. A lot of connections are missing over here. Um, this should... There we go. Order up the stuff that we need. Uh, they are going to be ordering up now uh, all the parts that we need to build the rocket. There we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, put them all in, please. Uh, and then, of course, we need the other part. The other part is going to be... We need a green signal from over here to... Over there. And we're going to need a red signal going... Well, we don't really need the automation part right now. We only need the filling up part. So the filling up part is the important part. Uh, which means we do need the green signal from over there to over there. And there we go. Uh, yeah, you will always see that this something like this is happening. But that's fine. Nevertheless, we got ourselves a second rocket. Then, of course, uh, maybe somebody already commented on it. Uh, if we had waited a little bit longer on the Monday episode and wait for this research over here, which is uh, this one over here, the Space Capture Navigation Technology to finish off, then we can actually get into the capsule and we can set things like the destination over here so we don't have to do emergency burns anymore. What will this actually do? Hmm, interesting. Maybe we can hop around the planet with that. But if you set up uh, a space capsule over here, um with a target um you do if you if you go from from like the space platform back down it's basically almost free the only thing you have to do, have to do is to add a little bit of fuel into it and you will not lose half of your inventory while going down uh so that's very good you can also use this to quickly get up onto novice orbit for like less you only need like a little bit of cargo rocket parts and a little bit of rocket fuel but you can't really take much stuff with you. So if there's like some kind of emergency and you don't really want to fire up a big rocket, uh, but you only want to fire up a small rocket, that now, of course, works as well. Good. This thing is being set up, but we don't really want to go to Novice Orbit. We want to go to, what was it called again? Byra. Can we actually rename plan planets? Is that a thing we can do? Um, is that a thing we can do? Wait a minute. Would be amazing if we could rename these, uh, because then I could name them after you guys. Um, but I don't think that's possible. Maybe with console commands. I will check that up uh, on on the Discord if we can actually rename things like plants and stuff like that. Because those names, those names are in lists, and it should be easy for us to to edit those lists. But we want to go all the way over to Byra. Uh, where is the thing that is all the way over there? That's gonna be an expensive trip over. That's fine for now. Let's start filling our up. And the other thing we probably want to do is uh, fire out. 
we want to start scanning this surface there we go now we get some updates over here we can already start viewing the surface there we go uh, the planet over here, Byra, is free of hostiles, which is great. And I think I already see something new over there. What's that blue thing? Oh, I see. So core seams that have a particular um, uh, source have a different color. Oh, that's amazing. Good. But this over here is going to be Byra. We are mostly going to be here for the Cryonite. The planet itself is peaceful. There's also some iridium over here. And there should also be some... Uh, what was it called again? Uh, let's have a look at this one. No, wait. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, Immersite. Yeah. Cryonite, Immersite, and Iridium are the main things we want to have over here. There's also some rare metals over there. Not quite sure if we're going to get them. Uh, because rare metal mining um, does require things like um, sulfuric acid. But let's let the scan over here go. There is a little bit of oil over there. That's good, um, because I kind of think we should probably go for an oil power plant over here. There we go. There we go. There's also a little bit of coal, a little bit of iron ore, a little bit of copper. Loads and absolute loads of cryonite. Uh, that's the whole reason why we want to go over here. Ah, there's some immersites. There we go. Uh, good. We're just going to let the scan go for a while. Uh, I'm not quite sure how big the planet is, um, if we will actually be able to fully scan it. But it's a peaceful planet, so we should definitely start scanning it. However, uh, that does mean that we will need to prepare a rocket to get over there. Uh, and preparing this rocket over there is definitely going to be tedious. Um, if we want to make a power planet... Power planet... Power, power plant... <laughs> Then we should definitely start ordering some stuff over. And since the strong box over there is, well, not really that strong, uh, we should probably think about only ordering up stuff in, like, small batches so that we don't accidentally overload uh, our thingamajig over there, our chest over here. And let's maybe start off with the... Do we want to go with a bioethanol plant or power plant? I think, why not? If you put one of these down, we're going to be good for a while. Um, I think we did the same uh, the first time we went over to uh, another planet. So, sure. Let's order up, say, 600 of these. <laughs> it's going to take a while before we're through this. Uh, 600 of these, and then about, how, how do we say about 1,000 pipes and 1,000 pipes to underground? Uh, there we go. There we go. And then 1,000 pipes. What else are we going to need? I'm just going to order up four things for now. Uh, and how about a thousand belt? Yeah, let's order up a thousand belt. I'll be fine. Um, so yeah, they're ordering up the stuff that we need. Uh, don't we have transport? Oh, that's probably not in the logistic for the chest yet. Um, so that... We, we do make belt over here. There we go. And as we can see, the belt is in the logistic chest. Um... The issue is the logistic bots are not capable of taking care of it because we only got a hundred of them. That's not good. Um, I want to have like, say, 500 of them. Can you start emitting bots to the system, please? Good, 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 good. So they will start filling up that thing over there. In the meantime, we are going to do something completely different. Um, we are... Uh, the plan is going to be the same of them like last time or last playthrough that we're going to do all kinds of processing doesn't matter what kind of processing it is every ore processing is going to be done on novice and then that will mean that every um resource we get from the outside will be imported in into novice so things like cryonite processing we're not going to do cryonite processing like on the planet side we are going to be doing cryonite processing over here and that means we do need something like... I do like that they did this. That it's like a nice little tap over here where you can see everything. Uh, that does mean we need to have pulverizers. We need to have chemical plants. We need to have industrial furnaces. And we need to have more chemical plants. Now, chemical plants you already have. Uh, but things like the pulverizer, we do not have yet. Technically, we already have that because I was a little bit sneaky... Um, and I put a little machine over here that makes pulverizers for us. Um, and we can probably make a couple more of them. Uh, so we now have a pulverized making machine sitting over here making pulverizers for us. I mean, it was we had all the resources we need over here. So that's the reason why it's being made over here. The same is true for the industrial furnace. Uh, if you remember the place where we make all the furnaces, 
We now also make industrial furnaces over here. And this thing is also already full. Lovely, lovely, lovely. 20 industrial furnaces. Oh, amazing. Uh, and then the only thing we need is some chemical plants. Do I have a chemical plant on me? Not really. Uh, where, do, where do we make chemical plants? Does anyone remember? <laughs> I forgot. I think I squished them in over here somewhere. Um, but one thing I do know is that this chest over here wants to be a passive provider. Uh, and this chest over there definitely also wants to be somehow in range of um, our machine over there. So that we can actually get uh, the steam power plants into the cargo rocket. I have no clue where we're making chemical plants anymore. Um, it could be any... Oh, wait. Actually, wait, wait, wait. I think we are... Ma no, no clue. No clue. Absolutely no clue. <laughs> I had a bit of an epiphany in my mind um, that we are actually making them over here. There we go. Uh, give me like 10 of these. Perfect. So what we're going to do for all this stuff? Well, we're going to go somewhere and we're going to sketch out um, what we need to do to make cryonite rods. And this is a perfect place for it. Look at this. Nice red place. Everything. So, um, oh, cool. We have a landing pad. We can um, start and think about that. There will be a landing pad over here. And this landing pad will only contain cryonite ore for us. So cryonite ore is available at an infinite rate. Let's just assume it's infinite because we can just start putting in more and more rockets as we please. The first step we're going to have to do is we are going to have to make, uh, we're going to have to crush the cryonite ore into cryonite powder. That is the thing that we're going to be doing over there. There you go. Please make me powder. Uh, let's have another look at this one. We can also get the core fragments over here. We might just export the core fragments as well. Um, this will give us cryonite core fragments. Um, no, wait. 20 core fragments cryonite will give us 19 cryonite ore. Uh, and one stone and up to four core fragments. I'm not quite sure. Actually, scratch the core fragment plan for now. Core fragment uh, processing is probably something that we're going to do as soon as we have stable and ludicrous power on every surface. Currently, that's not the case. So we're going to ignore this and we're going to focus on this. Uh, this means over here, this thing has a crafting speed of two. Uh, so we do this recipe two times per second, um, which means every second we make four cryonite powder and one sand. The powder then wants to go into uh, a chemical plant where it will go into three chemical plants to be exact, um, where we can then turn that into the crystal. So we already have something a bit of a natural ratio over here. We can just do something like this and that, this and that. Look at that. That looks nice. And then we make the crystals. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, we do need a little bit of steam in there. That's fine. We can do that and we get water out of it as well. The water we can just add back to the steam machine and then we're fine over here. Good. That's a direct connection. Really, really nice direct connection. Uh, that will also mean that we are going to be making over here one cryonite crystal per second. The crystal, um, the crystal over here, uh, one cryonite crystal can supply five industrial furnaces if they run at the same crafting speed. Now, think about industrial furnaces. There they are. They have a crafting speed of four. Um, so we can support one and a quarter of the industrial furnaces. Okay. That's a thing we can keep in mind. One and a quarter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we could just put all of this stuff maybe on a belt. Um, and then put it into... Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's do that. So what we could do is maybe something like this. One, two, three. There we go. Uh, could you maybe not do that, please? Thank you. Um, put the stuff on the belt. There we go. Belt just goes... Uh, and that's one and a quarter. That is now two and a half. And this one over here, that would be five. Mm, and if we double it down again, that will be ten. So this could supply ten industrial furnaces um with machines and wait a minute i think i see something how many machines is this on this side 12. pick that up please i think uh yeah let's place this one over there oh, place this one over there for a second 
Uh, we can supply 10 industrial furnaces, you say. That means... Um, yeah, that, that should work. I see a pattern in here. A very lovely pattern. There we go. Pick you up. Um, yeah, if, if... Wait, three of these... No, three of these can supply... No, 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 no. The, uh, the pattern is wrong. The pattern is very wrong. But let's see where we get with this either way. Uh, that's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. Yeah, now we need another four in there. Uh, but maybe, maybe, maybe it works. If we just click and drag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's not going to be good. <laughs> Unless, wait a minute, unless we jiggle it. If we jig it a bit. Um, then it's even worse, I think. Hmm, we can jig it from both sides. Ooh. I mean, direct insertion is always the way to go, in my opinion. Um... Oh, I also forgot that we need to, <laughs> that we need heavy oil for this. Oh no, oh no. Um, but actually, I think I think wait 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 wait. Yeah, take this all away. Um, so back back to start. So I, th I think we are we are, we are overthinking it a little bit. Cryonite rods. We need two cryonite rods every ten seconds. Or at crafting speed of 4, we need 8 rods every um, 10 seconds. That's 0 0.8 rods per second. Uh, this over here makes 1 rod per second, so we have 0 0.2 available to us somewhere. What we could do is something like this and something like that. Uh, mirror this. Uh, that's 2.5. That's not the optimal ratio. Definitely not the optimal ratio. Um, but with this, uh, we have then at the end 0 0.4 in excess. If we nudge it a little bit in, then we have 0 0.8 in excess. Uh, that's not going to work. No, I think the belt idea is better. Because then we can just keep it like a belt. One, two, three. There we go. Uh, then we can just keep it as a belt. Uh, and then process it later on. Uh, might not be the best way to do it, but I think it's it's the way to do it for us. Uh, let's put down some pipes and stuff like that. There we go. There we go. Everybody gets a bit of pipe. Everybody gets a connection. Oh, wait. I just noticed this one over there. It needs to be over there. There we go. Uh, everybody gets a bit of connection. There we go. There we go. There we go. Mm, and there we go. We missed you. And we hook up all of this. We hook up all of that. Same over here. I think we're missing an inserter down there. Let me just check real quick after I've put down these pipes down here. There we go. Yep, we're missing an inserter over here and over there. Good. And then it all just goes down. So that makes one per second. That's two per second. And then we just belt it um, as to our best of our abilities. There we go. Uh, we do need one over there. There we go. So, all of this does not exist. That makes two per second. Um, that makes four per second, six per second, eight per second. And what do we say? What do we need? Do we need a little more than that? We could go ten per second. Uh, let's go back to... Or, yeah, one of you can supply one and a quarter. That is two and a half. Five, ten, yeah, this is the amount that we want. Good. Pick it all up. Rotate it. There we go. Uh, and then let's pick it up again because there's a lake in the way. God dang it. Let's place it over there. I'll be fine. Uh, good. And then we also pick up you. And we're going to place you, say, over there. Does that fit exactly in there? It does. Lovely. Good. So we're going to provide the cryonite around this way. Uh, the sand will go somewhere. <laughs> the sand, for now, I think, we're just probably going to dump it into some landfill making machines or something like that, just to get rid of it. Uh, a very important thing that we are missing in here, uh, and I always forget, because, well, that's how we roll, uh, is the power poles in here. 
as well as the lamps. Lamps also very important. There we go. There we go. There we go. So have this. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah, next set of lamps will be or poles will be over here and then over there. And then we get the pattern. Okay. Uh it was a bit of a pattern mismatch in the middle. That's fine. That happens. Here we go. And then uh, you know what? Now we've <laughs> no need to copy paste it because we're 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 already at the end. There we go. There, there, there. That's a good way of powering this whole thing up. Good. And then at the end of it, we are going to need ten of these. Making cryonite rods. Uh, oh, I just noticed. We need even more powder over here. I was not expecting that. So, we also do need two powder per second. Um, that's fine. We can do that. Uh, that's absolutely fine. Uh, wait a minute. Ah. I think there's a ratio hidden in here. <laughs> Wait a minute. I mean, this over here is a perfect ratio into there. Uh, and then we will need two of these. Back to back. Something like this. Um, so that we can make everything that we need for over here. Because we do need two cryonite crystals over here for every 10. Um, however, if we also want to make two cryonite powder per second. Yeah, two cryonite powder per second. That's like one more of these. Uh, making the powder, and then it all goes in over there. And uh, so this one over there actually could be over there. And then it's going to be 20 of these. Uh, no problem. We can do that. We can do that. Like one over there. Two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three. That's 10. Uh, we could either do 20 this way or 20 the other way. I'm going to do 20 this way. Because that makes this machine or this uh, machine look a little bit more natural, you know? Good. Uh, which also means that this thing over there is actually more over here now. And that's perfectly fine. And then we can get some loaders. Um, now, how much do these over here actually eat? They do eat... What is that? Two? No, four cryonite per second. Okay. So that's four, eight... Uh, 16. That's just over a yellow belt. So this will be just over a red belt. And that down there will be just over a yellow belt. So, one, two, three, four. Yeah, something like this. Maybe five. How, how wide is this thing? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, then we go down one further. So that we can make it symmetrical. So, one, two... Three, wait, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. And now it's symmetrical. Yeah, that's, I think, symmetrical. Ooh. Is it symmetrical? Yeah, it is. It, it looks a bit weird, but it is symmetrical. Um, There we go. So we can place you, say, over there. That's where the ore will be landing. Uh, and then we do need reds over here. Like, one red over there, one red over there, and then one red over there, and one red over there. Uh, we pull this thing all the way to the last machine. Same over here. Uh, would be lovely if we could get the sand in the middle of here somehow, but we'll figure that out later. Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, we might need more inserters than that. Uh, it might just be that the stack inserter is not fast enough. Uh, we have to keep that in mind. Here we go. But if we just need more inserters, there's a random piece of wall over here. <laughs> if we just need more inserters, we can easily add more inserters to this build. Here we go. And then save it down. No, nope, not like that. Mm. You just, just delete it. That's too high up. Just delete that. No. Nope. Ah. Here we go. One more try. This way. There we go. That should do the trick. Uh, and then all the way over there. Good. 
Uh, we do still need the sand output for the sand output. Um, I'm thinking either maybe a belt in the middle over here or something different. Uh, we will figure that out. Um, and then finally, let's move over there. And yeah, let's just, just do something stupid like this. <laughs> That's fine, which means you need to be over there. Good. Um, then these things over there. Um, we need steam to process all of this. That's also a thing we have to keep in mind. Uh, how much steam do we need to process all of this? Um, we need 6 per block of 3. So that's 6, 12, 24, 48, 96. Wait, those are numbers from... Uh, <laughs> those are the numbers from uh, Captain of Industry. Uh, 96, 24. So... If this is 48, it's 2 and a bit in total. It's 5 steam engines in total. So, somewhere, trademark, we're going to need this somewhere. Doesn't really matter where we put this one. We could just, again, for symmetry purposes, because symmetry is always nice, uh, do something like this. Here we go. And then do this. Do that. Do this. Do that. Do this. Do that. Um, we will not have somewhere a water input. Uh, where the water input is. That's not clear yet. For now, we'll just cycle it like this. Uh, because we do need to top off this machine with water. Uh, and then we flip this. There we go. And there we go. Good. That's in. Um, so we do need to figure out a place where water will be. Uh, and then the last part of this whole machine over here is this thing over there. Let's place it over here. Uh, we do need things like uh, heavy oil. That is fine. That looks a bit weird, <laughs> uh, but so be it. Looks a bit like like we 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 are deleting finite uh, rods over there, but that's not the case. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That's just like the I think that's a cliff or a rock underneath it. Um, then we're gonna need powder as well as um, uh, the stuff itself. The stuff itself, we could either go with a splitter or we can do the thing we always do. We're going to do the thing we always do. Make one long belt. Go all the way around. Here we go. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, it's it's one too high. Dang it. Um, And then it's one too short. Perfect. I mean, why make a splitter? If you can't just make like one long belt... Uh, there we go, there we go, and then we do the same for the output over here, this is where, yeah, let's make it a little bit more sane, there we go, there we go, there we go, uh, that's where the other crushed cryonaut comes out, which we need to top these machines off, and then the only thing we need over here is an output, there we go, and an output over there, there we go. And that then goes this way. Good. Um, for now, let's just place one of these down. Uh, we need this over there. We need the same thing over there. There we go. Uh, good. And then we can take this whole thing over here. Delete that. No, we can't flip it. <laughs> uh, Blueprint with a pulverizer cannot be flipped. I don't think we can flip it with these as well, but then we go, there we go, rotate, good, and then we take these, over there, over there, and we are done, and that will be the building for our cryonaut processing, now we still need to add a sand output, but that will be fine, um, um, I'm going to be building this thing over somewhere, it's not quite clear yet where I'm going to be building this one, I will build it somewhere, so next time you're going to look in, um, then you will see that this thing over here is built, and this rocket silo over here, this rocket over here will also be fitted out and decked out uh, with everything we need to fill up or to build the remote base. So next time around, we are going to go uh, off planet to Byra to check it out and start building our first outpost for the air. So if you do like what you see, please do leave a like, a follow, a comment, a subscription. Every one of those actions does help me out in growing this channel to something bloody amazing. You can also find me on Twitch.tv slash BoltViking. And without further ado, I wish you all an amazing evening. And until next time, see you around!